Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to uh, make a video. I'd like to call it chronic illness hacks, perhaps. Um, I'm not sure yet. It's just something I've been thinking of, thinking about. Um, so in, pre in previous videos, I've mentioned um, that I have dysautonomia or an or autonomic dysfunction, and um, for that reason, I am on IV medications. Uh, through a central line now. Um, previously, in the previous four years, I have used some type of port. I've been through two ports. Um, I was not originally given a port for IV medications um, when this crazy path began for me. Um, we didn't know that I was going to end up using my port nearly as much. We, I originally had it put in just for um, blood draws and like for IVs because they couldn't get an, uh, any type of IV in, in me. <clears throat> they were sticking me like 16 and 18 times and still not getting it. And then I couldn't get blood draws done at all because I have no veins left and um, my veins do weird things that no one can seem to explain. Anyway, so I think it was um, 2015, yeah, 2015 when they put in my port, and um, in 2018, I had it removed and put another one in, and then it is 2019, so I've had my port removed and had some trouble with it healing, um, but that's a whole nother video, so I ha this has been taken out, no more port, and I now have a... Um, it's called a power line. It's a lot like a Hickman. It's dual lumen and um, You can't like take this out. It just stays in Whereas with like a port it sits under the skin and you have a needle put in to access it and then like a dressing put over it um, Anyway, this port is gone though so anyway back to um, the content of this video um, I wanted to make a video because a lot of people ask like how do you shower? Um, and in the beginning, I wish there had been someone out there who had made a video like this because, you know, you kind of have to think about how am I going to shower every day possibly for the rest of my life, um, likely for the rest of my life personally, with um, a sterile dressing covering your central line. So uh, here's what I've come up with. A lot of us with dysautonomia have fatigue, um, severe fatigue, and showering seems to make our symptoms a whole lot worse. Um, the heat from the shower, even if you take a cold-ish shower, still dilates the, vest the blood vessels, and um, that's part of our problem. We have low blood volume, so um, uh, the blood goes to our feet when we stand up or are hot, and um, enough blood doesn't get to our brains, and that can make us black out um, in a hurry. It's a scary thing, especially in the shower, being home alone or, you know, things like that. So anyway, this is what I found. Um, first of all, these wipes I really like um, for on days that you just absolutely can't shower. I really like these. And then um, as far as actually showering with my line, <clears throat> I use a just a folded towel and I take the towel and I put it over, oops, put it completely over my chest and I will hold it with one hand or sometimes I'll just put my shin down like this to hold it in place um, to wash my hair. So anyway, I'll talk about the shower setup next. Um, so the shower, I got a wand several years ago. I always, um, when I come in to take a shower, <clears throat> I make sure that before I, you know, splatter water all over the place, I make sure that it's on a narrow stream. Um, this is adjustable shower head. Um, make sure this is on a really, really narrow, narrow stream so that you're not splattering water all over yourself, um, especially over your chest where your port, port or um, Hickman is at. So I do that, make sure straight stream, and then <clears throat> I can lean back into the water, and again, keeping the towel over my chest, lean back into the water and wash my hair really well. Um, if I hold my chin down like this, I can use both hands to wash and then to rinse my hair. Um, I take 
the shower head off and just use it to um, lean back and like rinse my hair off really well. So basically that, that's the gist of it. That The best way that I have found um, is just to do it this way. It's a lot easier. And in the entire time that I've had my either a poor access or a sterile dressing over my uh, power line, Hickman, um, I have never ever once gotten it wet. So this is what works for me. I hope that this video will help all of you as well. Um, it's just, you know, try to conserve energy where you can. That's one of the, it's probably some of the best, you know, advice that I have is just try to conserve energy wherever you can. And the things that I were doing or that I was doing in the beginning of, um, in the beginning of having a port, um, you know, like I was washing my hair in the sink or trying to put aqua guards over it, um, press and seal, taping around it, and that irritated my skin like a crazy. Um, so anyway, I hope this video helps someone out there. Um, maybe you're just getting, maybe you just got your diagnosis for dysautonomia or, or autonomic dysfunction. And, um, or maybe you're just starting to get a port for some other reason. Um, I hope this video helps. So thanks. Um, I hope you'll subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and, um, watch out for more videos to come. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.